10,000. That's like a... That's like a five-digit number. I think that whenever you go up a digit uh, on the subscriber count, you're obligated to do a uh, subscriber video. But the problem there is we used all our subscriber videos back after that huge hiatus and then it took forever to actually hit 10,000. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, just let you guys know what we're doing uh, for Head Hunter Productions in 2019 and hope that that will make for a rather interesting video. Probably not, I don't know, you be the judge. In the first half of this year, I want to finish up Matt's Mine HD. It has three episodes left and the rest of them are really short, or at least the next one is really short. Matt's Mine HD really only runs up to episode eight. After that, the main series and the frame rate smoothed out, so there's really no reason to keep going with the HD series. If I went all the way to the point where it is now, we'd be doing it well into season two. It also goes without saying that Howard's mind is being made way too slowly. I aim to fix that this year and also take time to work on all of our other projects. I just need to figure out how. The next episode of Howard's mind has actually already been filmed, so at least that part is out of the way. But with my hopes to start season 3 of Matt's mind later this year, I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. Hunter Reviews is the biggest show on the channel, which is kind of ironic because I like doing Matt's Mind more. This was the experiment that became way more successful and is honestly probably the only reason we're at 10,000 right now. In fact, right now the channel is riding on the success of our three Star Wars reviews we had last year and our review of the worst movie ever made, The Amazing Bulk. And while I can't confirm that I'm going to go forward with my Star Horse series because I'm still torn between doing that or the long-rumored Beyblade Abridged, the only reviews I can really confirm right now are the Lego Movie 2, the Playmobil Movie, and obviously Star Wars Episode 9. Obviously, I do plan to do some big stuff this year. There's obviously going to be our holiday review, but aside from that, there are still plans to review the next Dog Who Saved So-and-So movie. Fred 2, and the next Avengers movie. Real Games is a series I want to start in 2019 that I've only really talked about on the streams. If I had to give it a bit of a description, I'd say it's about making up incredibly obscure video game lores for games that don't really have a well-established lore. The pilot episode, Team Fortress 2 for example, is set in an alternate reality World War II where the grass won. Titanfall takes place in a world where robots came before tanks. And Pikmin takes place in an alternate reality World War II where spiders killed everybody. Nintendo has released their stranglehold on video streaming which opens a floodgate of content that we can create and a lot of stuff that we can play on the gaming channel. I don't have an exact release date on the series but keep an eye out for more news on it. Last year, I tried out live-action videos with a webcam. For the most part, they actually went over pretty okay, and people liked them. The good news is, I do plan to continue them, I just don't have a set production schedule for them. Really, I don't plan on making any of the ones that I actually release until I actually start making them. I come up with half of the ideas for them in the shower for some reason, too. The only live-action video I really have plans right now to do, and it's a major one, is a video called Why I Got a Job at Amazon and Why I Quit After Four Weeks. Which is a video I held out on making for a while until I was working for a bit longer at Giant, so I had something to compare it to. Obviously, this isn't the only live-action video I do plan to do. I was actually thinking of doing another setting up a tree video and have us vote on something to put under the tree this year. If all else fails, I have a collection of Hess trucks I could go over, see if we can make that into an interesting video. 
2018 saw the long-awaited return of the head into production's Minecraft server, and it was immediately DDoSed. And before I go on a tandem saying that this is why we can't have nice things, I can report that it is coming back and there will be a video announcing its return. We're working on some DDoS protection as well as making the server a little bit more stable and perfecting the sandbox not taking all of your items when you leave. We're also working on getting the Winter City finished so that everyone can access it and I don't have to pull my hair out. Right now, there's nothing stopping you from going there, it's just not done. We also have the Village and Pillage update coming out later this year, and we're not sure how this is going to affect our marketplaces. And on top of all of this, server production has actually grinded to a slow crawl due to the fact that MC Edit is completely broken after the 1.13 update. I would like to thank everyone who's been patient with us, and I would also like to thank Mojang for making our lives a living hell by breaking everything with that particular update. Holy crap, there are plans for a Hunter Reviews panel again. Now, this hasn't been confirmed, but there are plans to do a Hunter Reviews panel at the last BronyCon this August. If this falls through, there are, at the very least, plans for a BronyCon meetup, which we will most likely be vlogging. If all goes well, there will be vlogs and a panel, so keep your fingers crossed and hope that the BronyCon staff accepts that our 10,000 subscribers is significant enough for us to be recognized. Hunter Reviews has come a long way, and hopefully they can realize that as well. November 1st means that Halloween is over, and it's time to start getting ready for next year's Halloween. Obviously, Oktoberfest 2019 is happening, and we're doing it the same way we always do it. Brand new episode of Hunter Reviews, horror games all month, our great big huge giveaway on Halloween, and the Matt's Mind Anniversary episode. This year, it's probably going to be the Season 3 premiere. But that'll all depend on whether or not my plans fall into place. And believe me, they have to fall into place. If they don't fall into place, we're still probably going to do an anniversary episode of some kind. Push comes to shove, it's gonna be left up to a Matt's Mind Adventures episode, which I'd really rather not do. And in terms of whatever Hunter Reviews episode we do for October, it would probably be another attempt at doing Fred 2, Night of the Living Fred. As long as the production on that video doesn't kill me, like it almost did with the Star Wars Holiday Special. Uh, I want to thank uh, the people who actually supported me in uh, this YouTube endeavor which uh, is not uh, the people related to me. In fact, they took every opportunity to try and talk me out of it. So I would like to thank all of you. I would like to thank the viewers and everyone that got us to this point. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been, well, it's been a ride. I can't say if it's been enjoyable for the entirety of it. In fact, with all the copyright claims, especially the recent one over the Fred review, I can't say it's been fun, but it has been a ride nonetheless, and I guess we'll do this again at 20,000, which is like, I guess that would be the next milestone after that, I don't know, 50,000, 100,000, and then, uh, I don't know, we'll go from there. Uh, this is Hunter, have a pleasant day.